Right, we are live. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. We are back for the Singapore Sevens quarterfinals, the first one. It's going to be an intriguing game. Uruguay doing extremely well during their group stage fixtures. And they're up against Samoa, who for the first time in 15 games were able to defeat the flying Fiji. And so Samoa, you think they're in some pretty good form heading into this contest. Uruguay the same. I think it's going to be a matchup that could be a lot closer than a lot of people May anticipate looking through at the Samoan starting side. It will be Va'a, Apiro Maliko, Valvasa Afasua, Taunu'u Naulivaya, Paul Scanlon, Tuna Tuitama, Fa'afoi Fananiko, Niweli Letufia. That is the side that Samoa have gone with them for Uruguay. It was Diego Ardell, James McCubbin, Thomas Echeverri, Lichtenstein, Vinales, Basso, and also Perez, so that is the side that they have gone with in this contest up against Samoa. But for me, I think Samoa should have the edge in this game, whether or not they're able to make it work in this contest, build momentum into their next game, which would be up against either Australia or Argentina. Should be a good game. I'm excited. A good afternoon or good after morning, all says Kerr. I did see your message as well, Kerr. Not a lot of position, not a lot of territory, but the boys got the job done, so they'll be moving through. And that means we might have a chance of covering their next game next time that they play, which I think is in about a month's time, somewhere around there. And also going to Manu, says Paharang. Uh, Hopefully I said that correctly. And good luck, Uso. Says Yasu there. And I hope Uruguay pull out the big upset win, says Pads. So although from what we've seen from Uruguay already in the sevens, like they have been on a lot of great sides to get to this point. They have beaten Ireland. They have beaten, is that the right group? I might have to quickly make sure that that is the right group. But Uruguay, they have already beaten Kenya, 33 points to 17. They have also beaten, where are they? USA, 24 points to 21. And then they did have their other game up against France, in which they did lose 27 points to 12. Sorry, 26 points to 12. But other than that one loss, it's been going very well. And let's go, boys, you can do it. Says Luai then for the Samoans. They were able to get themselves a victory in their first game up against Spain, 28 points to 24. And they were able to get themselves 28 points up against the Fijians as well. That wasn't just a victory. It's a one-sided affair, 28 points to 17. And then their last game up against Canada, 39 points to 7. So the benefit that Samoa have is in terms of who they have played, they have actually got a lot of points on the board which is what they will need here. And Samoa will, uh, will win by 19, says Kevin. And go, 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 Manu Samoa. Says Lal Philly there. And let's go, boys. You can do it, says Luai in there as well. But the game just about to kick off for the quarterfinals. The Samoans excited for this opportunity. And now that they've been able to beat Fiji, their dark horse, I feel like anything is possible in this competition. And if they were to face Fiji or New Zealand again, it would be a little bit further down the line. And good job in the main thing, or good job is the main thing. Sleep plan did not work out after the game. Uh, so I've been awake since 7 a.m. New Zealand time on Friday. And let's go Panthers, says Kerr. Yeah, that's quite a long time. You probably should get some sleep at some stage. I would recommend sleep is important. I can throw out the benches. Moto Opitai, Milford, Slater, Nui, and Lutero. Then Amea, uh, Fosilio, Fosio, Lo, I should say. And Braziones. Alvarez and Grill, the last man for Uruguay off the bench. And I'll be honest, I haven't covered a huge amount of Uruguay's game, so I'm quite excited to get this opportunity to be able to do so. You can see that my green screen, it's a little bit lower with the setup that I've got at the moment. It does almost sneak a little bit further down, which I'm not sure why. I think it might just be the angle of the camera, but these two sides about to make their way out onto the field. I do like the Uruguay away kit that I've got here. It's kind of a white with a bit of dark, Blue trim. And the Samoans, of course, wearing their classic blue, ready to go. Have All Blacks in the semifinal or the quarterfinal. They have got their quarterfinal match up against Great Britain. That will be the last of the quarterfinals that we are covering on the channel. We will also be covering semifinals and whatnot as well. Go, Manu Samoa. Sup, sup, says Amelia K. Welcome in. Hello, says Robert. In there as well. So the Samoans, they have actually scored 28 or more points in all of their games so far here. Gordon Way in charge of this 154th match on the series for the Australian. I remember when he was in a game, I think it might have been when Sam Mole were playing. And it actually ended up, he was the player who went off for an HIA. 
which was really confusing, but he ended up getting sandwiched by a couple of big players and then he had to go off and they had to get a new referee. Having a busy weekend, busy uh, but good. How's your weekend been and go, Manu Samo, go. There's no way there. And also, how big are you, Hamish? Bigger than the stands and all that, says Pads Ablaze. I wouldn't say I'm that big. You guys have seen me doing the push-ups and burpees on recent live streams, so I feel like that showed you everything you need to know about my height and my strength, which is both probably a little bit lower than the average person. That's going to be a penalty straight away going the way of Samoa, tackled in the air. A little fear does win the penalty for his Samoan side nice and early in the match. And Hamish, uh, you will see, or you see Williamson getting fit. Captain uh, Black gets an ODI World Cup. Probably not. I don't think he's got enough time to be able to fully recover. And I don't want to see it be a little bit like an Aaron Finch scenario. That is a massive kick downfield from El Nico. It just stays in the field of play, though. Uruguay have to force it. And that will now be a 22 dropout in favor of Uruguay. But yeah, I don't think he'll be back in time. To be honest, I think he'll be struggling a bit too much. And as I let go, Samoa, seven, three in a row. I like you're not covering day two. And I was just like a commentary god looking down on the stadiums from up in the sky. That is one of the highest praises I have received, Kerr. I feel like anyone who goes to that late night live stream last night sees my bloodshot eyes and my tired face would think otherwise. It's going to be slapped back. Vaal Pelomaleko picks it up. No, he knocks it on. I normally slip out of the hands of a Pelomaleko, but maybe this pressure in the R scenario. They should win this game up against Uruguay, and they'll know that, and that might be why they are a little bit nervous. Are you doing anything Cricket World Cup? Maybe. We haven't quite decided yet. Depends on schedules in terms of what else is taking place at the same time, and also depends on whether or not we're going to be risking a copyright strike. And very early morning in Cape Town. Morning, Hamish. Uh, you look fresh. How was your few hours sleep? It was all right. I got some quite good sleep squeezed in there. I managed to get to sleep relatively quickly, which I think helped quite a bit. And go Samoa. There's Alafanga there. Now, Uruguay with the ball in hand, 22 metres out from their own line. Nice tackle made by Fa'afoy Falaniko. Scanlon tries to get in the breakdown, but Uruguay, they have scored their fair share of points throughout competition as well most importantly that went over the usa that was probably the turning point of why it was uruguay rather than the usa making their way through now once again going to be going off to the left hand side out wide will be uruguay's number three Echeverri. he's been forced into touch there's not enough space to be able to work with that one some are considered taking the quick throw and they still consider it all oh, they do take it Tuitama wants to keep this ball moving now, little fear. Nice draw and pass. No, Levi ends up with the ball now. Afasua plays half. 40 metres out from their own line here. Samoa still sitting nil all between these two sides. Now, nice step in the middle. Tuna Tuitama considered going for the pass. Now he does find it to little fear who cuts back on the inside. Here he goes. Another offload. Paul Scanlon knock on, though. On the 22. Could have been a try for the Samoans again here. Once again, their hands let them down. What time is the final? It is at about 11.30 p.m. New Zealand time. And it will be taking place. But Unatui Tama, he received the pass from Letufe, who cut inwards off the right step. But that last-ditch effort from Vinald was able to put on just enough pressure, and then Scanlon did end up losing the ball out of his hands. Uruguay have never advanced to the Cup semi-final, so this will be making history but Samoa certainly do not want that to happen. I was a big love, people. See Sebastian. Yeah, welcome, mate. Hope you are doing well. Okay, you're right. Hamish, it's the eye in the sky with Inachi. Good evening, sir. Uh, still NL, NL. NL, I'm not sure what that stands for. And Samoa, let's go. Says the roof and go Samoa. And also vice Samoa, go. Says new there. Now Uruguay kicking that one downfield off the penalty, 45 Meters out from Samoa's line. We have had four minutes so far throughout this fixture. No one has got themselves a single point on the board as of yet. Samoa needs to calm down, says Moose. Yeah, maybe a few early nerves for the second day. Of course, all these sides have to play not just their quarterfinal, but their semi and their final if they do make their way through. Now, now Olivia, looks like it's going to be going back for the original knock-on in favor of the Samoans. It's only 6.24 a.m. Yikes. There's Roof. 
And best commentary line for the Glasgow game for the man his size, his mustache is terrible. Very disappointing. I feel like was that towards the Glasgow player or the Lions player? I'm thinking if they had they were in the northern hemisphere, were they? So that should have been a Glasgow commentator, I assume, possibly. A lot of Samoan supporters in the chat. No one for Uruguay says coding there. Yeah, I don't think we've got a very high percentage of Uruguay uh Uruguay viewers on the channel. Two minutes remaining though. So um, oh, they're talking about the automatic Olympic qualifying spots, five points behind the top five. South Africa didn't make the quarterfinals, which gives them a great opportunity now to qualify a little bit higher. Now, Valvasa Afasua going off to the left. A nice skip from Va'a Pilomaliko. Once again, another good tackle made, but Nooli Vai busts through the next one. And that will be the first try of the match for the Samoans. They've had to work hard. They will now reap the rewards. A Lions player says Kerr there. I'm trying to think of who they've got who has mustaches and whatnot. And go Samoa, says Alafanga there, and that is a brilliant first try. Apelo Maliko finding his offload up to Nooli Vai, and then just missing that tackle was Ardo. And then they weren't quite able to catch back up with it with Echinaviri. Nooli Vai has had a fantastic tournament so far. I believe probably the leading Samoan try scorer in Singapore. He scored two in that first match that we did cover for them. Child is very happy about that one for the Samoan boys. But 50 seconds now remaining in this first half. 7-0 for the Samoans. Might just have enough time to be able to get themselves another. Here we go. Four tries, three line breaks, 12 carries for Taunu'una Ulivaya. The position that he's playing doesn't normally get that many opportunities. So him to have four, very impressive indeed. But it's going to be kicked off now by the Samoans. It's going to be slapped back, knock on. From Uruguay. And Uli Vaya gives it across. Big kick in behind. Waiting for the grubber. Tuna Tuitama. Bit of skill there. Tries to keep the ball in the field of play, but not quite able to. Uruguay now will have themselves the 22 drop out. And it does look like they want to take it relatively quickly. But first, we're going to see the TMO. I believe there was a bit of contact there between two players. Shoulder to shoulder is what Jordan Way wants to check. They're checking the grounding, which we know was not successful for Tuna Tuitama, but that is not what Jordan Way wants to check. He wants to see whether or not there was Oh, okay, so they've said that it's kicked dead. So Jordan Way, they decided that they didn't need to check that shoulder to shoulder. The mustache award goes to Fantastic Hamick. Uh, Hamish, Nick White comes second. I mean, I would accept second, definitely, to Nick White. Because even second in the mustache competition, I think I'm doing pretty well to get that high up. And is this a knockout stage or what? It is a knockout game. Yep, the quarterfinals at the moment. It looks like they have got the option of the 22 dropout or a five meter scrum now for Uruguay. And they will take the 22 dropout option. And Vamos Teros says that Leon there. Welcome in, mate. Hope you are doing very well. And Fiji boys did well in the Melrose Sevens yesterday as well. Uh, but the team I used to play for out. Uh, that was Matawalu who played well. It's going to be a knock-on from Uruguay. That was right on the halftime siren. So we are now going into the second half with a seven-point lead for the Samoans here over Uruguay. Not a hugely one-sided affair, which does now mean that Uruguay still have a chance of fighting back in the second seven minutes. But some good performances from individuals for Samoa. The likes of Anuli Vaya also, other than that drop ball, Apelo Maliko hasn't been going too badly, of course. Uh, they will never look uh, at possible foul play versus the money says Mus there. And go to Itama. And Amaliko says Alafanga and agreed. Uruguay too hard right now. And shall, uh, so I shall call them the Panthers. Says Kerr there. And also for Amalosi boys, says Jimena. So far, four missed tackles from Uruguay in that first half. Only three tackles being made. Four tackles made by Samoa. They are yet. To miss one as of yet. And also afternoon. Uh, it's only 6.26 a.m. in Cape Town. Have super cool rest of the day there. Go Samoa. Try time. Come on, guys. Says the roof. And also nice to see you. Good sir. Says Kerr. Go the Manu. And they're currently, I mean, they'll know that they have to get themselves another one or two tries. Because I don't think seven points is enough up against Uruguay to be able to secure the victory. 
I see Uruguay scoring at some point throughout this half. They didn't get a huge amount of the ball in hand throughout that first seven minutes, but I can see Samoa, if they start finding their momentum, I could see them going on and getting themselves maybe three or four more tries in this second half. And hey, Hamish, did you see what happened last night between the Broncos and the Raiders? I did not. I heard that someone made a comeback win, though, I believe. So was that the Broncos? 10 minutes away from the quarterfinal taking place between Argentina and the Australians. The winner of that game will be facing the winner of this game between Samoa and Uruguay Panthers come back in the second half, says Kerr. And 53 minutes away, it is going to be New Zealand versus Great Britain, who will also have that commentary on the channel. But there is going to be plenty of action coming up just around the corner in the Singapore Sevens. This is the final day. We have the three group stage matches yesterday. Today you go from your quarter, your semi, and then your final, if you do make it that far. Now, Uruguay, or Uruguay, sorry, sitting in 12th on the rankings compared to 7th of the Samoans, but Samoa just outside of that automatic Olympic qualifying spot. Plenty of time left to be able to make up those points, but it's kicked off high from Afoy Fala Nico, nicely taken by Uruguay. Now roll that ball back, offload. Trying to keep this ball alive, and position is going to be the key thing here. Basso had it. Now going off. And it will be, I believe it is Vinals. Oh, stolen in the breakdown from Apilo Maliko and does end up getting penalized. And true, bro, uh, your or our, the ref, uh, got a turning point. Here's Gang T and Raiders 1. Broncos fans were super salty. There's Moose there. And also, we have Goodness Armour. There's Spider Mega. It's kicked downfield and does go into touch. Nice. Back from Uruguay. Uruguay have only come back twice from 24 games when behind at halftime this season. So it is a rare occasion that it does happen, but when it does, it will be a special moment for them if it does happen in this game. So I have not lost when leading at halftime since Dubai this season versus the USA. That is 25 straight games. But that is a big fend from, I believe it was, Perez. Ball bounces out the side. Picked up nicely by Uruguay. Now slinging it out wide to the left-hand side. It will once again be for Nels. Russo down 20 metres out from the Samoan line. Now Uruguay looking to go to the right. Passing's looking pretty good from this Uruguay side so far. Now ball out wide. Itifiri does receive it. Only making about maybe three or four metres in the process of the last two phases. Now back outside of their 22. Another wide cutout pass. Trying to create one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Great carry. But good tackle made by Tuitama. Now big Wide loop and pass again from McCribbin. Oh, wide pass. Now Echeveri receives it almost in the same position as he received it about four phases ago. Now making a huge amount of meterage at the moment here. Uruguay, they are starting to tie. Maybe the Samoans out. Nice offload there. Just able to hang on to a Lichtenstein. Now going for the corner. Nice bit of footwork there from... Oh, they've gone backwards, it said. It was good footwork from Basso. They say it traveled backwards, and it's the try for Uruguay. Breaking his way through, Matteo Vinal scores it. And try for the Panthers, says Kerr. And US Masters will be interesting today. All right, they're going to be checking this one. Or well, they aren't checking it, but we will see the replay. So this ball gets tackled. They say it went just backwards, marginally. And... Picked up by Vinales, who scores the try. Uruguay now making this game seven points each. Well, this could be an interesting finish in this matchup. Go the money, says Alafanga. And it will be interesting today. Rained off yesterday, and now half of them need to play 29 holes today. Big ask for the last day of a big competition. That is very true. I struggle to play nine holes. Although saying that, our courses are a little bit hillier than the ones that they're using for the Masters. Now four minutes remaining. Looks like he's going to be coming off the field. The try scorer, Matteo Fernals. Right, we are back. I don't know why it went black for a second there, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it is all back and running nicely. But three and a half minutes remaining. Me kicked high. By Uruguay, slap back, but it's nicely taken by Va Pilomaliko, who is lurking, waiting for that intercept. Paul Scanlon down the wing. He's going to be away 
And that is all that Samoa need to be able to keep on getting themselves points, just making sure they have that quick play out wide, get Scanlon away, and does score the second try of the match for Samoa. And Samoa with the fire emojis from Kerr. Also, we have got that Gadamanu. There's Alafanga. But that was all from Vaa Pilomaliko. He was right place, right time. The green screen is a ghost. And also, we have got the yes, there's Spodemek in there as well. But Paul Scanlon does manage to get himself the second Samoan try of the contest. Also, not his first that he scored. Uruguay must be real good. Samoa beat Fiji yesterday. Says WMS. And nice 300 plus in the chat, please. Hit the likes. Welcome in. Says Wise Blues, mate. That is a poor conver uh, conversion there. Does miss. That's a crucial one that they should have been able to get over for the Samoans. That will be a little bit concerning now. Only two minutes 40 remaining, and Uruguay are only one converter try away from taking the lead. And go, Manu Samoa. Says new there, but anyone who is new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We have got plenty more action coming, including the Samoan or Uruguay semi final matchup against the winner of the next contest, which will be Argentina versus. Australia, but now going to be Fafoi Falaniko to kick this one off. Um, oh, they'll be looking to retain this ball here. Just kicking at the 10 meters. Oh, taken by Uruguay, but he was almost taken out of the air. Goes backwards, but Uruguay now in position 22 meters out from their line. They do give away the penalty to Samoans. I think Adial considered taking that one relatively quickly. Just show us the game. Unfortunately, due to licensing, you cannot see it. We show any match footage or audio, we get taken off YouTube for three months, which would be very unfortunate. But all you have to do is look up World Rugby Sevens. Their website will say exactly where you can watch it, depending on where you are in the world. But you have been here almost the whole time, uh -huh, Rain, which I'm quite impressed with, to be with the fact that you don't want to hear us speaking. It's going to be a double knock on. Someone now will have themselves the scrum feed. Alvarez is not too happy with that one, but they now have to try and get the position back. Let's go, Uruguay, says Federico. And also, go, go, the Manu says, Nui. And also, tense moments, says Spider Mech. And go, the Manu says, Talisia. Yeah, plenty of time still left on the clock. Over 100 seconds. Let Tufi about to feed the ball in for the Samoans. Now, pops out the back. Here they go, off to the left hand side. Paul Scanlon, nice pass out to Tune Tuitama. Thought about trying to cut back in, but instead just breaks through two tackles, reaches out, scores the try. That is the strength. Of the big man, Tuna Tuitama. And that might just be enough to secure the game. And most of our players are not, uh, most of the players are not professional. And so, so admirable. Yeah, the fact that Uruguay have been able to beat so many great sides over their last little while, it is extremely impressive. And link for the live stream. So I'm watching on Sky in New Zealand, which is a paid service. But if you go on the World Rugby Sevens website, you will be able to see the best option for whereabouts you are in the world. Some options are free. Even on that World Rugby Sevens website, you may be able to watch it directly, depending on what country you're in. And thanks, Manu. There's Alafanga. Now the kick taking his time here. Strategic from Samoa. Use up a bit more of the clock. No Levi missing it away to the right-hand side. They will keep the score at 17 points to seven. That is the second try for Tuna Tuitama of the Singapore Sevens. He hasn't scored a huge amount. When he does... Certainly makes the most of it. That's enough to win it, says King T. It should be anyway, depending on what happens for the kickoff. And I'm in Argentina, says Luis. So, yeah, I would recommend checking out the World Rugby Sevens website. And then they've got a section called Where to Watch. And it will show every country in the world and whereabouts you can actually watch that. Um, yeah, depending on where you are. It's going to be kicked up high. Not quite taken cleanly by Uruguay. And now Nui Levi close to the touchline. Bumping through two of the defenders. Finds the offload on the inside to Va Pilomaliko. This game looking a lot more one-sided now for the Sun Mines. 22 points to seven here. Oh, well, this is a bit uh, special, actually. Says Kerr there. And also goes Samoa. And whatever, Musmasi. And Samoa going to win easy in there as well. But that is a nice run from Nui Levi. Not quite able to break his way through. Now, only about 15 seconds remaining in this contest between the two sides, and Samoa will be making their way through to the quarterfinal stages in the very near future. We have just heard 
the siren. And that is going to make it full time between these two sides. 22 points to seven. Very nicely done by the Samoan boys. So they will be moving over through to face up against the winner of Argentina versus Australia. I do thank you all very much for tuning into this live stream. If you are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We have got the next game between Australia and Argentina happening right now to find out who will be going through to face up against the Samoans and the semis. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all for the next one.